I found this today. Uh, this was in the bargain bin in Halfords. I thought this uh, looked like good value. So we've got two rechargeable um, nickel metal hydride AA cells, two triple A cells, and a charger. So this charger it just plugs into um, to a USB port. So um, I wanted to crack it open actually and see what's inside the charger. See if there's anything, anything of note in the way of electronics. So we have some instructions, instructions for use, multiple languages, we have a micro USB cable, two AA cells, uh, that says 1000 milli milliamp hours. The not very good ones, they're quite light, obviously don't have much charge, but there we go. And a couple of AAA cells, these ones say 400, 400 milliamp hours. And charger, micro USB socket to plug in here. Oh, it's held shut with some security screws. And some more. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't fit, does it? That's interesting. To find a shim to make that fit, it's really only for the double A cells. Anyway, I'll crack this open and we'll see what's in here. So that's actually pretty disappointing. Um, I cracked the case open and here's the circuit board. So there's a little micro USB socket here with an LED. Um, but if you look at the electronics, I mean it looks pretty ropey really. So there's something that looks like a diode here. This is a transistor I think um, and the rest is just a whole load of surface mount resistors so um, I'll try and work out the circuit diagram for this but it, oh, it doesn't look like to it doesn't I'll try and figure out what the circuit diagram is for this but it doesn't look to me like there's any current limiting here because um, for nickel metal hydride batteries you're meant to um, you meant to charge them at a constant current that's the main the main mechanism for charging a nickel metal hydride battery is to, to charge a constant current. So let me work out the circuit diagram. One thing I should show you is um, the mechanism for switching between AA and AAA cells. So you see in the normal setting um, this thing is set up for the AA cells but Look, there's this little door here that you can flip down and then it becomes possible to put AAA cells in here as well. And actually on the circuit board underneath there's a, a switching mechanism so that when it's down in this position 
the um, the charger is actually providing less current into the into the cells because these triple A's have got um, less capacity than the double A's. So this actually uh, it's not just a little sort of adjuster, but it also changes the current setting in the device. Um, the actual uh, electronics in this thing are really a little bit disappointing. I was expecting to see some constant current source in there, <clears throat> but if I look at the if we have a look at the diagram, so I've reverse engineered the uh, the circuit board. You'll see that basically the charging path here. Um, so from five, five volts in from the USB side, it goes through a diode, uh, through a PTC. So this, um, when this gets warm, this will actually increase in resistance and will reduce the amount of current going in the in this route. Um, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, but the charging circuit, so we've got a couple of rows of surface mount resistors. So these, these were a whole load of resistors in parallel on the circuit board. Um, basically several of them so that it can dissipate the heat through a number of different uh, resistors. So you have the resistor network and then you have the cell under charge here. And uh, and that's it. It's just basically a resistor in the path of current going into the battery. So this this is a pretty small amount of current. I measured about a hundred milliamps. Um, so it's trickle charging the cell. And this part here, there's, there's a transistor on board, but the purpose of the transistor seems to be only to light the the LED at the top here. So. Um, I guess that when the voltage on the cell reaches a certain level, um, this will uh, the the transistor will switch off and then the light goes off. So that's the the mechanism that tells you that the cell is now charged. Um, and also, I guess with the PTC here, um, the, this PTC is physically it's mounted somewhere near the top of the cell here, so um, if the cell gets hot during charging then the resistance the PTC will go up and the current going down this branch will reduce. And um, So you can see also if, if there's uh, reduced current going down here this could also make the LED go off. Um, talking about the, the switching mechanism so depending on whether that little that little door is up or down we've got a slightly different setup so in the case of AA cells uh, it goes through one set of resistors so this this um, provides a large or larger amount of current and then when you flip the door down you're going through two sets of resistors so the the AAA um, gets uh, less current than its big brother. Um, so I mean this is basically just a, a trickle charger and um, so I, I, I guess it's quite useful to be able to charge something from a, from a USB port but um, does it very very slowly. Uh, I, I think I ran this for something like eight hours and the LED had still not gone off um, and the cells were getting qu quite warm by then. So um, so it's not great. Um, it's not a great charger. I don't think I'm going to use it very much. Um, or may maybe you know, maybe it would be good to hack this and put a proper constant current source in instead of this kind of ladder of resistors. <clears throat>